Ultimate Kid Academy. We're live in five, four, three, two, one. We are continuing our series called We Belong and learning about the fruits of the Spirit. But let me ask you a question. Whenever you see someone hurting or all alone, do you ignore them and ignore the situation? Or do you take the time to look within and say, Lord, what do you want me to do in this situation? How should I respond? That's the correct answer, Super Kids. And today we are going to learn how to respond with kindness and not ignore the need. Stay tuned. It is week three of our series, We Belong. Today we are talking about how to respond with kindness. Kindness? So you mean I shouldn't tell somebody if their haircut is bad? No. Or they're not good at math? Cadet Noah, how about you pay attention today in service and see how to respond with kindness? Thank you, I appreciate that. That's a good start.
Super Kids, did you know that God created everything? If you take a look around you, you'll see God in everything you do. Today, Lieutenant Aubrey is going to show us something in the kitchen. Super Kids, grab your spatulas. It's time for In the Kitchen. Today, we'll be making a yummy cereal yogurt bark. Mmm, I'm so excited to eat my favorite cereal. And we get to eat both of our favorite cereals. <gasps> oh, wow! Alright, Super Kids, before we get to our favorite cereal today, Cadet Cadence, why don't you tell them what we did before we came into the kitchen? We washed our hands and asked the adult to help. That's right. Now, our ingredient list is super short, right? Yes. All you need is whatever flavor of yogurt you choose and your favorite cereal. Yes, and then for your supplies, you need a spatula, a baking sheet, parchment paper, and a freezer. This sounds like it's going to be a lot easier than I thought. Cadet Cadence, our first step is to line our baking sheet with some parchment paper. Check. What's yep. next? All right, so now we're going to take our yogurt, and we're using vanilla yogurt today, Super Kids, and we're going to pour it out on our baking sheet. And then, Cadet, I'll hand you the spatula, and you can help spread it around. Today we're using vanilla yogurt, but Super Kids, you can use whatever flavor of yogurt you choose. That's right. And when you spread it out, just make sure that you get a nice, thick, even layer. Looks really yummy. Mm-hmm, it smells good, too. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like snow. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. All righty, how do you think that looks? Looks good. I think it looks good. All right, are you ready for our next step? Yes. Time for our cereal. All right, Cadet Cadence, so do you want to mix in our cereals together or do you want to do it half and half? I think we should mix them together. All right, so we're just going to take our cereals and we're going to sprinkle them all over our yogurt. And you could even have fun with it, Super Kids, and you could make little smiley faces or you could spell your name out. Get creative with it. It looks so yummy. It does. All the colors are so pretty together. All right, how do you think that looks? It looks good. Okay, now that we have our cereal sprinkled all over the top, we'll stick this in the freezer for four to five hours and let it harden. It looks so yummy already. Mm-hmm. Cadet Cadence, that recipe was super simple, wasn't it? Yes, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it really was. I'm so glad it's easy. Me too. You know, Super Kids, it's the same way with God. Things that seem really hard can actually be really easy. Really? Really. In Matthew 11:30, it says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What does that mean? It means that life with God is simple. We don't have to spend every day struggling and fighting just to get through the day, but with Him, things are easy and light. Just like this recipe. All right, Super Kids, we've just taken our yogurt bark out of the freezer. What do you think, Cadet? It looks really good. It does. Take a look at this, Super Kids. It looks really yummy with the cereal. Well, it's time to hang up those aprons. And clean those spatulas. This has been In, In the, the Kitchen. kitchen. I do not lie. I am always quick to tell the truth. I do not steal. I am a tither and a giver, not a taker. My father makes me wealthy. I do not complain. I work hard to help my family. I honor and obey my parents and people in authority over me. I walk in love. I do not gossip. I am not rude and I am never mean. I put others first and I am not selfish. I treat other people with respect. I am always grateful for everything good in my life. I am fiercely loyal. I am full of courage, and I refuse fear of any kind. I am merciful and kind. I am generous and fair-minded. I do not get offended, and I am quick to forgive. I always do what is right, and I do it right. I do all things with excellence. I am diligent, and I am not a quitter. I only allow my eyes and ears and mouth to let in good things. Every day we encounter opportunities that require us to respond. And how we respond is our choice. And as children of God, we should be responding with the fruits of the Spirit. 
Let's go over those fruits again in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. It says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And today we are going to learn how to respond with kindness. There was an expert in religious law who came to Jesus and said, Hey, Jesus, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And because he was an expert in the law and he thought he was perfect and he knew everything, he did this to test Jesus. So Jesus said, Well, what does the law of Moses say? And the man said, Oh, I got this. The law of Moses says, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus was like, you got it, man, correct. And then he went on to test him even more and he said, but wait a minute, Jesus, who is my neighbor? And Jesus responded with a story of kindness. Go with me to Luke chapter 10, verse 30. And it says, Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho and he was attacked by bandits they stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. So this poor Jewish man was probably just walking along the road, minding his own business, and he was attacked. He was beaten up and left for dead. He desperately needed someone to respond to his situation. So, verse 31, it says, By chance, a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. Now, wait a minute, this was a priest, someone you would think that would respond. But he probably saw him lying over there and be like, I've got a meeting to go to, <laughs> got to go work on my message, you know what I mean? Or I'm a little hungry, I got to go to lunch. He didn't respond. And then in verse 32, a temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. So two people who you would think would respond didn't. This isn't going so well, super kids. <laughs> okay, verse 33, let's see what happens. Then a despised Samaritan came along and he, when he saw the man, felt compassion for him. The reason why the Bible calls him a despised Samaritan is because Samaritans and Jews did not get along. They were like enemies. So the last person you would expect to respond to this man's situation would have been the Samaritan. But yet he did. He responded with compassion and with kindness. And it says in verse 34 through 35, going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins telling him, take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. So what this man did, he responded with kindness. He literally took like a Band-Aid and helped heal up his wounds. And he took money out of his own wallet and said, here, here's some money. I wanna help pay for this man's recovery. And then in verse 36 through 37, now Jesus said, which of these would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The expert in religious law probably felt kind of ashamed, but he said, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Super kids, do you realize that Jesus is commanding us from the word of God to respond with kindness like the Good Samaritan? Jesus has commanded me and you to love others as we love ourselves, to take care of one another, to look out for each other. So always remember, don't ignore the need, don't ignore the situation, but always respond with kindness. Hey, Harry! How's your week going? Pretty good. I've been working on being joyful and patient out here in the wild animal kingdom. Yeah, it looks like it gets pretty wild out here. This morning I was done by the watering hole and I saw some hyenas pestering my elephant friends. Oh no, how did you respond? Well, I responded with patience, but then I told them they weren't being nice. And I went over to the elephants to make sure they were okay. Oh, Harry, that's really kind of you. I know. 
It feels so good to be kind. <laughs> yeah, it does. Did you know that kindness is also a fruit of the spirit? Mm. Whoa, that bowl's getting filled up. Yeah, it sure is. So, you know, kindness <clears throat> is one of the fruits of the spirit. And so when our bowl fills up, it's kind of like your spirit filling up with all of these different fruits as well. Joy, Ooh. kindness, patience. Isn't that really cool? That's so cool. Now, do I smell as sweet as a pineapple? Hmm. Oh, Harry, um, your attitude's about the only thing that really smells sweet. But it's a start. Super kids, you've tuned in to Back to the Bible. Luke 10 in our Super Kid Manual tells us a Bible story about the Good Samaritan. Jesus told them a story. A Jewish man was walking from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They took his clothes, they beat him up, and they left him beside the road. It just so happened that a priest was walking by and saw him, but kept walking, leaving him there. A temple assistant also walked by him, and he did the same thing as the priest and kept walking. Then, a Samaritan, who no one liked, saw the man and felt compassion for him. The Samaritan walked over to the man and put him on his own donkey and took care of his cuts. He also took him to a hotel and told the innkeeper that he would pay for anything the man wanted. After telling this story, Jesus asked, Who is a neighbor to this man? They replied, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus told them to go and do the same. Thanks for tuning in to Back to the Bible. There are many ways to be kind and generous. Psalms chapter 37 verse 21 says, the wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. You may feel like you have to give a lot in order to be generous, but that's not true. Do you remember the story of the widow woman who gave only two mites? And there was a bunch of rich people around her giving a lot in the offering. But look at what Jesus said in Luke chapter 21, verse 3. I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the rest of them. Jesus said she was the most generous person there with only giving two mites, which back in that day was the most least valuable coin of her day. So remember, Super Kids, it doesn't take a lot to be generous. Be kind and generous because the love and light of Jesus shines through the inside of you. See you. 
Kid Aubrey, did you know that the Bible says that a man cannot live by bread you alone? You gotta eat by... fruit! I was gonna say... You gotta eat vegetables! Okay, all that's good, but the Bible says a man cannot live by bread alone, but also every word that comes out of the mouth of God. So you're saying I have to eat the Bible? No. Okay, okay. So food, food, fruit, and vegetables mm -hmm. are all good for your, for your physical body, but your spirit body says that you have to have the word of God or your spirit man will starve. I'm Cadet Jeremiah, and we're gonna read from our super kid manual from Philippians 1, 11, which says, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Our Super Kid Manual is full of useful things in learning how to respond to situations. Like when you're being made fun of at school or when your brother needs help with his homework. Today we're going to learn how to deal with these situations in What Would a Super Kid Do? Mom got me a new toy at the store. What would a Super Kid do? Ugh, that's last year's motto? Gee, thanks. I just exchange it for something even better. She is so kind. I'm gonna write her a thank you note. Our Super Kid Creed says, I am grateful. Cadet Isabella thanks her mom for her new toy. It's recess time, and I wanna play volleyball first. What would a Super Kid do? I'm going to go see if someone else wants to play with me so that we can all share. It's my turn. I've never gone first. I'm going to get it first, and I get to decide who's going to play next. Cadet Luciano was quick to share, and he was not selfish. We got a homework assignment on an essay. What would a super kid do? I'll just do it right now to get over with it. I'll tell my teacher the dog ate it. That always works. I'll just do it later. It's easy to put off our homework, but Cadet Luciana started it right away. I hurt my arm and I think it's broken. What would a super kid do? It's totally broken. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh well, I guess it's cast life for me. The Bible says I'm healed and that's what the doctor will see. Our super kid creed says I walk by faith and not by sight. Cadet Taya knew that she was healed. I heard that Billy skipped, a, skipped class and got kicked out of school. What would a super kid do? I'll just go tell Josh so we can both try it. Ooh, girl, I knew that would happen. That's between Billy and his teacher. I won't talk about this. Cadet Isabella knew she wasn't supposed to gossip. And that's what would a super kid do. Super kids, were you watching the broadcast and be like, wait a second, who is this Jesus guy? Well, I wanna give you an opportunity to meet Jesus. Whenever we meet Jesus, we actually ask him to come into our heart and to be our savior. You know, Romans in our super kid manual, chapter 10, verse nine says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, 
you will be saved. So if you haven't done that before, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to do that right now. Everyone close your eyes, bow your heads and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. God, I thank you that you are my best friend. Easy as that. You are in the family now. You know, the Bible says when one person gets saved, all of heaven celebrates. So there is an awesome party in heaven right now just for you. But guess what? We want to have a party here too. So how we're going to do that is parents, email us at superkids at emic.org and we will send your child a certificate and maybe something else a little special. After listening to the message and filling up on the word, I feel like I have a better understanding of how to respond with kindness. Super kids, can you respond with kindness? Like complimenting your teacher. Or even encouraging one of your friends. Encouraging one another helps one person's day go from ordinary to extraordinary. Signing off. Today, we learned about the Good Samaritan and how he responded with kindness and how we should do the same. I want to challenge you this week to look for opportunities how you can respond. You know, it could be as simple as just sitting next to someone in the cafeteria that doesn't have any friends or telling your math teacher, thank you for helping me with that math problem. Make sure this week that you respond with kindness. Super Kid Academy, where ordinary kids do extraordinary things. Signing off now. Thank you for watching Super Kid Academy at Eagle Mountain International Church. Kids, get your parents' permission and visit us on Instagram, Facebook, or at emic.org. We'll see you next time at Super Kid Academy.